Loading the BioXP deck for an instrument run is simple and typically only takes a few minutes to complete. Here are a few key tips we'd like to pass along to ensure a successful instrument run. Let's briefly take a closer look at each of these items now. Thaw the reagent plate and the cloning and vector strips on ice. Cloning and vector strips thawed at room temperature should not be loaded onto the instrument. Always thaw these items on ice before loading them onto your instrument deck. After you load the tip trays into the tray retainers, gently press on the tip trays until they are clicked into place. If you realize that the ethanol trough is still in place on the instrument from a previous run, it's important to empty the trough and use fresh ethanol for every run. Remember to load plates in the correct orientation. For the recovery plate, orient the plate so that the notch is in the upper left-hand corner when you are loading it onto the deck. Lastly, secure both arms after properly loading the eight wall strips. For more information or a demonstration of loading the instrument deck, please visit our website. The BioXP loading map that is shipped with your custom reagents also includes a deck loading checklist and helpful loading reminders. For additional information, please visit sgidna.com or contact us by email at customerservice at sgidna.com.